All right, so we have the following complex fractions. We have x over y plus 4y over x over x over y minus 2y over x. How do I do this? Well, this is called a complex fractions because you have a fraction on the top and a fraction on the denominator. The trick here is to do first the top and then the bottom. So let's do it. Now, I can see here I don't have the same denominator, so I cannot add these two fractions. So what I'm going to do is that, and let me just change the color so you can see it, I'm going to multiply this by x and this by y, because as you, as you can see here, you're going to have now the same denominator. Whatever I do on the bottom, I have to do it on the top. So this is actually a trick to do the type of fractions when you have letters. And now let's go ahead and do it. X times Y is just XY. Remember, Y times X and X times Y is the same. X times X is equals to X squared. 4y times y is going to be 4y squared. And the bottom is just going to be xy. Beautiful. Look what's happening. Now, my denominator is the same. When you add fractions and you have the same denominator, you just keep the denominator and then you just add the top. Well, I have x squared plus 4y squared. There's nothing else I can do. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom. I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to go ahead and make the same denominator. So here I put an X and here I put a Y. But remember, whatever I do on the bottom has to be done on the top because that way you don't, uh, you know, you don't break the balance. So let's do it. X times X and I'm going to have X squared over XY minus 2Y squared over XY. Awesome. Since I have the same denominator, I keep it. Uh, just to let you know, these are pain in the neck. But uh, once you figure out the trick, it's so easy. Now look at this. I'm going to have this portion, and then this is division, and then this portion. Well, remember, when you have a fraction, and let's say that you're dividing, and let's put here, um, I don't know, let's put z over y. Remember, you need to do a over b times, and then you flip the second term and then you multiply so that's basically what i'm going to be doing here i'm going to put the top and i'm almost done over x y and the bottom since i'm dividing i'm going to go ahead and flip it and i'm going to actually multiply and look what i'm going to be getting when i multiply this is going to cancel out and my answer is going to be x squared plus 4y squared over x squared minus 2y squared. I cannot do anything anymore, and that is my final answer.